Hello and welcome to my second installment of the little how to camper series. Today I want to show you how to uh, record and reamp via SPDIF, which is the digital solution to do so. So I'll just first show you how I have my camper set up. So um, first thing you want to do is um, just connect your camper to your audio interface via SPDIF cable. You need two. One is going from the SPDIF out of the camper to the in, SPDIF in of your interface and vice versa, the SPDIF out of your interface to the SPDIF in on your camper. That's the thing you might want to consider. And um, one thing, just let me go to my Safari Mix control. You got to make sure that your sample rate on your interface is set to 44.1 kilohertz and the sync source is SPDIF because the uh, and not the internal one because the camper has to be the master when you record or reamp via SPDIF. That's one of the most important things otherwise you might get clicks during recording or it might fail. So let me just put this away. Um, okay. Now let's get back to this. So um, let's go through the camper settings. I'll just plug my guitar straight into the camper um, and let's see the output settings. I have the SPDIF output setting here set to, you have different options off, which sends no signal out. Guitar Studio, which is the processed guitar, um, or uh, at the studio level. And what I do is uh, take the guitar and stack option because this sends um, SPDIF is, is stereo, and when you select the SPDIF thing, um, it sends the dry track on the left side and the processed track in this uh, occasion. I'm taking the signal right after the stack before the effects because I tend to um, do all the post-processing like EQs, reverbs and delays um, in logic after I've recorded. So I record my guitars dry, mainly. That's uh, just because I prefer to do it because you have like more um, options when you're mixing and EQing the stuff. So uh, I'll just go with the guitar and stack combination and um, let's see what I got going on in Logic here. I have three tracks set up. I have one is the SPDIF left for my interface, which is the DI track. That sounds like this. That's just the straight through unaffected uh, guitar with no effects coming in. Um, the second track is the right input of the SPDIF and that's the one where the stack section is coming. I do have a, just let me see, I have a orange rocker verb uh, by Reamp Zone running. So that's my main sound I got going on. And um, what you want to do when you record via SPDIF is one thing you might just keep both tracks. I just turn this one down so it's not playing back while I'm recording. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just start and record a short riff so you can hear what I'm talking about and what we can do with it. <laughs> So that's all for now. We're going to work with that. I'll just switch the record buttons off and the input monitoring. So what we got going on now, we have one track. Just let me set a loop here a second. So um, 
on the bottom we have the um, track that is coming on the right side of the SPDIF track and that's the one with the sound or with a profile loaded let's just hear it that's good and the other one is the DI the dry DI track And I like to keep them both on separate tracks because that makes it easier while reamping. You don't have to fiddle around with a pen knob just to send one hour signal out and the other not. And um, do it that way. So let me just see if this works. I'm recording all the audio in parallel in Pro Tools and I hope this works. I don't know. I really hope so. Yeah, I think it works. Looks good. Okay. I'll just keep that running. So, um, now, uh, what do we have to do to reamp? I'll just mute the track. And um, what we have to do to reamp is we leave the camper as it is. And the only thing we're doing at the camper is hit the input button. And then what we do is the input source. I'm gonna turn that all the way to the right and use the. Um, SPDIF input reamp um, and when you are working on the same setup that you recorded your DI track with um, I wouldn't mess with the reamp sense I just leave it at 0 dB because um, if you recorded it with the same setup and you don't move the fader in logic or your DAW of choice um, you're not making any volume changes. So the signal is coming in and it's coming out at the same level here. So uh, we'll just leave it at that. And now that we switched our input to the SPDIF input, all we gotta do is take our DI track and set the output of the track to SPDIF. And when I play my guitar now, you might just hear it picked up through the microphone. I have to turn up. It's nothing coming through the camper because the camper is not taking the signal from the front input. It's just taking the input from the SPDIF. And when I'm playing this track now, the DI track, which is going out to the SPDIF output, and I create a third track which is my reamp track. And here I have it set up so it just takes the SPDIF right, which is the same as this one. And so it just records the um, processed sound of the camper. Now if I hit input here, so I can monitor my input and I hit play, I should hear the camper play without me doing anything. <laughs> That is just my track playing through the camper. So I'll just go to my rig manager, this one. Let's just uh, change the sound. Let's take another profile. Just take one with lower gain and listen what it sounds to. Okay, so maybe that's too low gain for me. Um, so we just take something with more gain, just Let's try this one. And if we want to record that, I just hit record and go for it. And sounds fine to me. And that way, if you double the track, um, that's a very quick way to just get alternate takes or different sounds for a single track you recorded. Let's do this again with another sound. So 
sorry that was just uh in the beginning it was just uh both tracks running at the same time so it was just phasing and now you can uh, you can definitely combine two different sounds let's just add a third one with uh less gain let's just i don't know take the one we had before the low gain one double up the track again with these two and hit record again that's good now if I could just pan this one left and hard right just listen to it we have the high gain version here and the lower gain version here on the right side Let's just listen to what it sounds like. That is all you can do with reamping. I mean, there's definitely more stuff to do with, um, but that's just the basic principle how you can reamp stuff just with a clean DI track and yeah, you can always mix that up with uh, your already recorded tracks. So hope that helped. Um, if you like what I do, please hit subscribe and follow me on YouTube or Facebook. Thanks for watching.